Oh yeah, what's popping? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that tank right there. It's pretty bad. It's kind of gross and nasty. We're gonna take that tank. We're gonna fix it. Uh, get a new tank that looks a little better, a little more clean than just like the average Joe like black rim tank thing with the filter and all the the. the yeah, that. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run to the store, we're gonna grab a new tank, maybe an extra fish or two, I don't know, because it, it'll be five gallons bigger than that one. It's about the same, like, uh, size-ish, but it's just taller, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do that, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, we made it. We made it to the old pet supermarket or something. I don't know if I've ever been in a pet supermarket. I feel like I haven't. I feel like I've been in Petco and Pet Smart. All right, we're gonna go in. Hopefully they have the tank we're looking for. I think we're going pirate theme. Is that what you're thinking, Zach? Pirate theme? You're feeling pirate, huh? So we want. We might get the treasure chest and then this little skeleton guy, or do we do these two? You, you like the treasure chest? The fish will probably like it too. So we'll do that. And then the tank they have is, that they have the tank is what I'm trying to say. But we're also gonna get some more fish. I wanted a little blue lobster, but they don't have them. They're, they're all out. So what are you gonna do? So we're gonna look for some more fish to put in there since it is a little bigger, like I said, and hopefully we can find some. All right, we might get Mr. Puffer fish. There's another one over here. So I don't know which one we're gonna get, but we're gonna pick a, probably a Puffer. They're all out of the lobster guy that I want. That's the only thing. Uh, do we wanna get like a small cichlid that won't kill anything yet? And then if it gets too big, we can always put it in with Kevin. Or do we like more peaceful fish for this tank? All right, we're also gonna get Mr. Crab here. It won't focus on the crab. That's as good as you're gonna get. So we're gonna get the one crab. Crabs. Yeah, though it's the one and only time, hopefully that I'm willingly getting crabs, you know? So we were looking for like a pirate themed fish. Uh, so we got Mr. Krabs, cause he, he's kind of like a pirate from SpongeBob. He sounds like a pirate. Sounds like a smoker. <laughs> he sounds like a smoker too, but that's fine. So we're gonna keep on looking here. We're gonna probably get one or two more fish and then uh, everything else that's in the tank already, we'll get switched over into this tank and hopefully everything will be good. Alrighty, we made it back. We got the tank, we got this, and then all our fishies and stuff are in there. Uh, so I didn't want to film Buddy while he was bagging the fish because he was already kind of awkward as it was. So I didn't want to completely make his brain explode. So uh, I did, I'll show you guys the tank when we get back a little bit better. But apparently the crabs and the puffer will eventually have to be converted to like a brackish water something. So I'm going to do some more research on that and see how long they can do just plain salt or just plain fresh. And then we'll have to just slowly convert this tank into just a brackish water and see how delicate really the puffer is. But we'll just have to wing it and see what happens. We're trying to run people over. I'm not sure this is uh, the safest way to do this in the rain, but either way, we'll see you when we get back home. Okay, bye. Alrighty, we're back home. So we got the Fluval Flex Freshwater Kit. I did the 15 gallon one. The tank that's sitting over there is 10 gallon. So I'm hoping that the extra room is gonna be in the height, not in the width or anything like that. This one's more of like a box. So I'll open it up, try and get it all looked at for you guys. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and keep as much stuff from this tank as possible. That way I don't like water, like everything, literally everything. So I'm gonna keep all of this and put it directly into that. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about like cycling this tank or anything like that. Hopefully we shouldn't have any issues at all and then should be good to go. The cords run through the back of this hole right here. If you wanted to add a protein skimmer, you can pop that out. If you wanted to run something else here, I don't know what it is, but I think you can pop that out as well. And then it has the little feeding door or whatever you want to call it there, or you can just lift it straight up like that, whichever you prefer. We are looking at the back side of it. I have everything hooked up. We have the little balancer pad thing, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the actual tank itself. And then we're going to start siphoning water from that into probably this bin until that one becomes light enough to then pull off. And then uh, we can start putting water into this tank and setting up everything and making this a real tank. Oh, I'm not wearing a hat now, that's crazy. All right, so it's the next day. So what had happened was 
I put all the substrate into the other tank, like from the old tank to the new tank kind of thing. And it ended up uh, being very dirty and kind of made the water look like mud because technically like the bedding or substrate that I'm using, whatever you want to call it, is actually a dirt. It's basically just balls of dirt. So when you move it around, obviously naturally it just falls apart and makes a big mess. So I put everything in, put all the fish in, which I probably should have let it die down a little bit before I put the fish in. I don't really know if that hurts them or not. It just kind of seems logical to wait until it calmed down. But it did calm down and look at it now. It is crystal clear. Mr. Pufferfish is down there having a grand old time. He likes sitting in this little hole right here, which is kind of funny. And then all oh, here's one of the little babies, uh, if it'll focus on the, it'll yeah it's one of the babies that i had it showed it for a second some of the little guppies or whatever you want to call these are up there the mollies or platties or whatever that guy's considers doing good uh so i bought this plant in the back here as well that one right there so that is actually a good spot for it i think it'll do really well there i don't know if it needs a little more flow than that but i guess we'll just have to wait and see but i'm gonna have to uh rearrange the decor i'm kind of deciding if i want to keep the pirate ship in there or not because as you can see this tank's only 15 gallons so I'm kind of on the fence about keeping it there. I may just move this plant to the back corner, kind of where the fish, the little orange fish back there is sitting. I may move that there to have some grass on this side. And then I may take the pirate ship actually out and I'll save it for another tank that will eventually do. I'm going to rearrange these other plants in here real quick for you guys and give you guys the final layout of the tank. I'm going to try a few different things just to kind of test the waters. I'll see what's going on. See what I did there? Test the water because you test the... Yeah, I'll stop. And shablamma, we're done. Okay, let me show you what I have done. So I got rid of actually one of the plants and uh, it just looked cleaner. It was a nicer plant. So, or it wasn't as nice as it was. I think it was actually slowly dying. So I just went ahead and got rid of it instead. And I also put the pirate chest back in almost called it a pirate ship <laughs> that was a good one chest almost called it a ship again so i got the ship the the ah uh, what is it the chest the chest is there oh i didn't even notice the little eel that comes out of it that's kind of cool so there's that and then the little skull so i put that little grass looking plant back there and I forget what this plant was called. The guy at the store, I asked him, he told me and I completely forgot. But I also think I'm gonna get another type of plant that goes there. I'm gonna get a little one. It kind of looks like, like a yard. So like little grass and stuff will grow. There's a baby. Okay, I guess they had babies again. The little, the guppies or someone had babies. There was a little one that just flew around that corner. But it's like a little grass that kind of grows along. It's real, real, real tiny little leaves. Uh, and it kind of will fill up the bottom and get rid of all that kind of weird bumpiness in it it'll just look like a smooth flat ground and look little buddy back in there he's living life up in there mr pufferfish is doing really well and before any of you guys comment we're gonna sit on the floor together i actually did some research and found out that the pufferfish will do great in just fresh water for now but once he gets older like once he hits like the four inch mark i'm gonna start converting him over to a uh like a brackish water tank along with the little fiddler crabs that are in there they're somewhere in there i don't know where they're at they kind of go out and about i also bought a, one of the uh the pocosimuses so i have a pleco in there He's going to be in there. He'll be roaming around. And I'll give you guys updates on everything as they get bigger. Obviously, the pleco will get bigger. The puffer will get bigger. Everything else in here should stay about the size that it's at. So I'm hoping for the best here with this tank. I don't know. It's pretty cool shape. It's the little Fluval one. Uh, and hopefully this thing does well uh so far from the research i did switching tanks this was kind of the best way to do it without killing anything so i'm kind of hoping that is true as of right now we are this tank has been running for three days now or sorry two days it's been running fully so uh i just didn't want to film at night or in the murky of this thing because right now these ceiling lights don't work in this room so i had to open the blinds so i need light that other than that, and that all being said, this is a lot of talking I feel like I'm doing right now. This tank is complete for now. We will add stuff to it. Eventually, we will get new tanks for the puffer fish, the crabs, and stuff like that, if the puffer fish makes friends with the crabs, because once he's bigger, he will probably eat them, which that's fine too. That's life, you know. That's the cycle of all of this little fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. I needed to get a new tank for them. They were just, I don't know, they all were up in the, like, the higher range column of water. All the fish that I have, they all kind of swim up on top. So now they kind of seem like they're doing a little bit of everything. We got some on the bottom the puffer fish he's ranges all over the place got these little guys they do pretty good in the mid water 
all the little guppies are up there and then actually the he's up there the molly's up there as well and he's got his little girlfriends down here so i don't know they're kind of a little bit everywhere so i'm hoping they do very well but if you guys have any tips or input on this video please comment it down below i really really do appreciate the advice on certain stuff because i'm learning as i go pretty much i do research right before i go do stuff if i have the capabilities of caring for it so in the future i will uh i'll read these comments and be able to learn from them so i appreciate the view and i will give you guys updates on this tank as it grows old with me okay i love you all and goodbye That's just in case anyone's curious on what I do before each like take in the video.